distilleries nationwide, and even here at home, are faced with some expensive FDA fees. So for small, already struggling companies, this could really hurt. THV 11's Jordan Howington spoke to one Little Rock distillery who started making hand sanitizer at the start of the pandemic, and they're now paying for it. When the pandemic first began, hand sanitizers flew off the shelves here at big box stores. That's when local distilleries decided to step up and help, but they didn't know then because of that, that they would now be paying thousands of dollars in fees. It's super hard to keep things running um, as it is, and then to be hit with this fee just seems kind of uh a slap in the face for doing what we did to try to help. Phil Brandon, owner of Rocktown Distillery, is one of many distillers shocked and upset. They're faced with this new FDA OTC monograph fee of $14,000, all because distillers chose to produce hand sanitizer when the demand was high during the brink of COVID. For Brandon, he mostly made it, then donated it to people in need. No notice, no like, hey, by the way, this is coming out. He got this letter from the FDA saying the money is due February 11th, but like many small businesses, they are struggling to keep up already. We're struggling as it is through COVID, and then all of a sudden the government just decides to make up this fee that wasn't there before. I, I don't really understand. Brandon said the fee could be just enough to devastate small businesses who are impacted. He's reached out to Congressman French Hill's office in hopes they can help get the fee waived. But so far, no luck. It seems kind of crazy. So we're trying to work through the channels, but as of yet, I have heard nothing uh, that we are getting any kind of satisfaction. Jordan Howington, THV 11 News. And Brandon asks everyone to continue to support local distilleries. He also encourages you to reach out to local congressmen to help them get this fee waived.